Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Bullpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play, or walkthrough series for Dwarf Fortress, where most of our fortifications are done, but we still have a few more. So let's go to Constructions, Fortifications, build one there, build one here, build one here. Now let's approve the building on corners thing. Let's try that. Spoiler alert, though. <laughs> we're going to see that that won't work. So we are moving our doors down here, which means we should also rebuild our lever that we took down into here. We'll toss it there. That's a mining job, so I won't sign more mining jobs right now. Although he's not doing anything, so perhaps I should. Should probably also get our everything stockpile ready. We need to delete our garbage pile. Zones, this pile, delete. Because we are going to start moving things downstairs. We don't want people hauling things all the way up here. Friggin' zombie dog walking around everywhere. Aren't you just gonna, like, get better? At some point? Because no one's gonna help you. For once, I actually said, like, what was wrong. Oh, I left your le rear, left rear leg is rotten. How do we deal with this? <laughs> there used to be, like, an actual medical menu. Is it because you don't have a study that it's not getting done? In the original game, there's a medical menu, and you can just say, like, do this exact healing job that needs to be done. That's gone now. It has disappeared into the ether. So now, I don't know how that's done. I've seen soldiers and stuff go into the hospital once everyone's assigned, like we do have everyone assigned. But, okay. But... I don't know. You just remove that as a thing, so I don't know what you do <laughs> with your animals and stuff. I mean, I've got, like, creatures, livestock. Somewhere we can do it in here. Diagnosis required, yes, but... I can't give the order for you to do it. I guess we could assign it for Butcher. It's going to make our expedition leader really mad, though, because he's it's an owned animal. Maybe we can't. Actually, we can't even assign it for Butchery, which is weird. Normally, you can. I guess because they are pets, they're not valid for Butchery, but... I don't know. Anyway, we removed the garbage dumping pile. Let's place a new one. The new one will be right next to the mason shop. And because we're going to put, make this a stockpile, this is the stuff that needs to get dumped first because we don't want the stuff in our stockpile. And just take up a bunch of room. We should have our nest boxes ready. Those will probably be under like farming. Indeed they are. Workshops farming to be specific. A bard is visiting. So once you make an end, you'll have visitors. And they'll, things like bards will tend to entertain your people in the, uh, in the tavern, which is just our meet, our main dining hall for now. All right, so now we need a new pin and pasture here. And then we are going to assign our hens, our roosters, and it seems like these peacock things are also might as well go in there. These animals don't need grass. I guess it's because it's they don't eat grass in real life, but... 
at the same time, like doors don't actually go and feed these things. But you have these worms and stuff that just spawn wherever they're at. So there you go. And now they're safe and sound in there. They're not going to have a bunch of dead little things in here. Oh, there's still some little things. I guess the worms and stuff don't leave corpses. All right. So our fortifications are complete, except for the last few tiles. And as you can see, this job didn't get done. In fact, it's just permanently waiting. It's not even suspending itself. So we've got to build some floors. Floor, 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 floor. Not too much sense in building too many other things right now when everyone's busy hauling stones. Nobody likes hauling stones, by the way, as far as I've as far as I've seen. It seems like everyone gets a mood debuff when they're hauling stones. We'll just make these available again. Man stock. I feel bad for it, but I can't help it. I could build a contraption to end its existence. <laughs> That's not ideal. And, you know, this, this doctor's office is fully stacked except for casts and soap. But neither one of those are things that we can make easily. I guess I could assign it. Yeah, we should. Is this, its smell is just going to bother people anyway. Let's build a restraint and we will place it right here. Because it's a war dog. The main reason we brought it is for defensive defenses anyway. actually have a free regular dog. Oh, I bet I could unassign it as this person's pet. Somehow. Let's see. I'll find our expedition leader wherever he may be. There he is. Labor work animals. Unassign. I guess there's a small chance it might get treated once it's unassigned maybe that's what's going on we'll just give it a second here just to see seeing if it's maybe walking to the hospital new migrants I don't think we got very many though okay it went to the hospital. It's on a table. Are the doors... These ones are socializing. <laughs> it's in the hospital. Maybe. <laughs> Diagnosis still required. Maybe just sitting in there for a while, it'll be okay. I don't know. I guess if your dog's in, if your dog's hurt in this game, you have to unassign it as a pet, which doesn't really make much sense, but kind of adds a bit of busy work that isn't necessary. So now we'll use these floors to build the corner that we couldn't build on. See if our new migrants can do anything. Again, it'd be nice if there was a, a way to sort it. Looks like we only got two new armor and weapons, but these will be nice to have here soon. So I, I actually don't hate that we got these people now. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to give them... Uh, So let's give them stone cutting. We don't really need to rush to stone cutting yet. For now, I'm just going to have them haul. 
stone cutting is just smoothing walls so that they're prettier. Or it's like it, but it's not critical yet. This is still required. Or like a... Oh, wait, what's that? See that? This icon changed for a second. It's not the dog. Yeah, somehow I can't click on this dog. It's just hanging out there because it's a, a technical meeting area. I don't know. This is done. Let's make our everything stockpile. Eat. Accept. All. And then customize. Just like the one up above. This one is not going to take refuse. I always get like which button we need to press here. Confused, but... There we go. No stone, no refuse, and no wood. Oh, they must have added something to this list because now... And no corpses. Corpses, no wood. Okay. Should be good. I'm actually going to turn food off, too. Because food's going to go into some new stockpiles. In fact, we'll dig those stockpiles out now. Here and here. This time I'm going to be sure to make them same size. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. I usually just make them for the four by whatever. But we're going to make them five by whatever. <laughs> oh, there's no way to get to those. Herp derp. Herp until I derp. Like so. Chair there. These should be our visitors. Human bard, human dancer. He has come to perform. So they'll make our doors happier. Nope, I can take this down now. Deconstruct that chair. See so yeah, how this stockpile is pretty full. These logs must have fell in from above. Oh, there's another hole here. Where are these holes coming from? It's just very weird. This it's not something that happens. I know sometimes when we were like, there's another hole here. Are they like plummeting through or like logs plummeting through the roof when I chop things down? Oh, is this where the bottoms of tree trunks were? Is making holes? I don't think that's supposed to happen, but uh, apparently it is, so be aware of that. Wow, there could be fucking holes anywhere because you can't, <laughs> you can't see anything up here. Or like you can't, can't really tell the difference between a single spot hole and just like a piece of terrain that's a little bit obscured. <laughs> Wow. So it's dog treated. Okay, well. Is your leg still rotted? Did they lop off your leg? Okay, well, apparently dogs cannot be treated. I can butcher it now. <laughs> Put it out of its misery, but it can cause more problems than it would solve. So we're just going to put it on the uh, restraint out here. And eventually a legendary creature will come and kill it. Okay, so 
let's deconstruct these floors. Because now they are in the way of where we need to build fortifications. Oh, and we've made the stockpile, but I didn't tell it to. You click on it, and then we do set workshops from which stockpiles it takes from. We're going to say from which the selected spot will take. So this is take, and it's going to take from this stockpile. And this stockpile automatically has a give command. Should be able to leave it alone for now, and it should just work. But in case it doesn't work, the other thing we can do is disable the stuff that we want in the other stockpile from being in this one to begin with. But we think people are coming up here to grab things, so should be good. Now this dog is straight outside, so people aren't going to cough on the miasma anymore. One thing of interest, though, is I did notice we have a stray dog. Here's our stray dog. We can train this one to be a new war dog by just clicking on this. And then our militia commander, I think, has the ability to train dogs. Well, that's weird. He was now able to create more splints and things. Did it get healed once it was on the... Humiliated from being defined. Still seriously injured and diagnosis required. Oh, here it is. Description. No, it's still hurt. An animal has become a strained war dog. So while I was doing that, it got trained in here. So now... Because... Oh, you're a dedicated fisher dwarf. So the expedition leader doesn't need to fish anymore. In fact, I don't think fishing was turned on for some reason. That's fine. You're fishing. You can haul things now. So actually, this is the guy who needs the new animal. Work animals... This, uh, this one doesn't have a name, so it's the, the war dog that we still need. Unfortunately, like figuring out which dog is which is not easy. <laughs> yeah, now that's our Fisher Dwarf, I guess. And then the hunt or the war dog was following him. Or maybe not, because now it just ran back and forth. So I don't know. All right. Looks like they got all the stones out of there, so we can do this. And these stones are going to get in the way of creating workshops. So I'm going to give them the command to haul too. These need dumps. Selecting a lot of stuff, which can be a bad decision because it's just a lot of commands. Also, we don't need as many tables and chairs anymore, but things have changed. Mikuaz. This workstation's going away. It was no longer necessary. I don't know what's going to happen to its orders necessarily, so it's kind of just watch. Just to find out. So yeah, now this dog gets to just be a, a guard dog at our entrance. Those floorboards are taken out, so now... We can complete the wall. So these are hanging over the edge by one. So hypothetically speaking, enemies cannot climb up our wall anymore. Because these will, they can't like climb horizontally, I think. So this should stop them. And it's worth noting that flyers exist. So flyers can still get up here. Okay. Okay. And we can hypothetically use these as places for our archers to shoot from. However, I have seen them fall over the fortifications before. 
They're not supposed to be able to pass into them, but somehow they do. <laughs> Get some masterpiece stuff quite regularly now, which is nice. No new work orders here. Okay, let's get this assembled. So what happened to those work orders? Did they vanish? Okay, interesting. They vanished into the ether. That's good to know. I just wanted to know what happens because you didn't assign them per workshop like this before. All right, so this is our stone worker. Uh, tables. We still need some tables, but we don't need nearly as many as we used to. So we're going to make it six. Oops. And only make six when there's less than two left. And we'll also add the chairs back in. Need altars eventually here. Oh yeah, thrones. My bad. Same order there. And I don't remember what other orders I had here. <laughs> Take a quick look. Blocks probably, huh? Blocks are pretty useful, so I'll keep that on. 10 and make more if there's four or less. That's probably it. And doors. Doors we still need buttloads of. Buttloads and buttloads and buttloads of doors. I'm talking about three doors found here. We're talking about the doors. We need them all. We'll unforbid this pile again. So he can so now he can just grab stones from the pile that's right next to his door. That's why we set things up like that. Now this stockpile is less full. Now that they've probably taken everything out of it that the other stockpile needs. We're gonna change its settings. I'm gonna forbid sheets. I'm gonna forbid weapons. Leather. No, we'll get rid of this because leather going's down for sure. Gems. Return ammo. Food we're going to leave on for now, but not forever. Finished goods is also a weird one because things get weird. Coins. Cloth. Parts and blocks. Armor. Animals. Ammo. Food and, food and finished goods. You know what? I needed to prioritize. I prioritized the wrong dumping jobs. Well, these ones are a little bit more important because these are my new stockpiles. So in here. I mean, all of it needs moved, but some of it's more important than other things. All right. The fortress is enclosed. Hypothetically, we are safe from attacks now. We will have to lift the bridge. When things attack, luckily the game pauses and it alerts you when there's like a siege going on. There are thieves and stuff in the game that can get closer to your base before they're seen. Because they have like stealth, but because we have our war dog here now, we should get alerted when something's trying to get in. Unless there's a damn hole. <laughs> Absolutely the worst. I could like floor this whole area over just to be sure. Let's see, that's another hole. Are they just, like, appearing? I have to floor this whole thing over, but man, that'd be a lot of logs. <laughs> I'm guessing they're where tree stumps were. But man, we just chopped down trees out here and it didn't do that. So I don't really understand. <laughs> what? Fish, dangerous terrain. Warp skeleton. Oh, they're trying to walk across the stupid pit. I guess I should build a bridge down here. It's not something I've ever done, but I guess if the fishing job isn't close enough to the bridge, they'll they'll try to use this one. 
All right, sure. There's a bunch of bees down here, though. I hope they're not, like, murder, murder home. Okay, I can't speak English. Murder hornets. That's what I hope they are not. We'll build a bridge across there. That should stop the, uh, stop the issues. My god, there's so many lungfish bodies out here. That's absolute madness. And you might be wondering, I think we've talked about this before, but we'll talk about it again just in case. Might be wondering why to build a moat and a wall and all this stuff here anyway when I could have just built like one trench in front of our entrance and been done with it. Well, our animals need to eat grass. If we wanted to meet, have them eat grass inside, we would have had to like dedicate like this area where there's dirt and we would have had to dig a giant hole above it and then there would have to be no access from that hole into our fortress so that would mean either not having a door because i think doors can be broken down now or it mean it could only be accessed from outside the problem is enemies also kill your animals when they have the chance to so not only would it be a pit outside kind of like this would be kind of what it'd be like except with no with no ways in and out. Well, I guess there'd be one. No, it would just be. There'd just be no way to do it. You wouldn't be able to. You wouldn't be able to fortify it. Since doors can be broken. Yep, you just can't do it that way. So this is the most fortified we can make a grassed area right now. If we get into the cave cavern layer. Uh, cavern spores will start to spread throughout the fortress and they will plant themselves anywhere where there's dirt that's in shadow, which will be like all this area here, but not on this stone or on our lower levels, which are all made of stone. And then grass will start to come in, but that's going to be a long way off. So this is what we got to do for now. <laughs> and there's also horrible, unspeakable monstrosities underground too. So not really something we want to do <laughs> right away our drinks are running out please i'm very sick can anyone else go bar Seeing if anyone else can do these other things. It might be time to assign our random people to just do the job. They'll suck at it, but someone needs to do it. But that reminds me, we need more workshop locations. Because all these workshops will be fine and dandy. But we also need ones for producing food and drink that are right next to the food and drink stockpiles. Let's allow these again. And I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do the <laughs> tutorial episodes here, the shorter ones. And it's going to start being harder because obviously things are taking multiple episodes to do now. And we had a long discussion about that in the last episode that I can't really stitch them together. So, yeah, I don't really know exactly how I'm going to handle it. But we're out of time for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you would like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.